To keep in mind during this extreme heat are pets. Dogs can experience the same effects from being out of the heat as humans, even worse in some cases. You want to be especially aware of their paws on the pavement. Meteorologist Jamie Cagle has more on this important story. Jamie? Right now it's about 115 degrees outside and this concrete is even hotter. I have my infrared thermometer right here and I take a reading and right now it's reading 158 degrees. You wouldn't even think about walking on this barefoot and neither should your dog. These pictures went viral last summer posted by a veterinarian on Facebook warning about the effects of hot pavement on dogs. Olaf the Golden Retriever was brought in with all four of his paws burned. The paw pads nearly gone. The post saying Olaf's owners took him out on a walk and never realized Olaf was in pain because he wasn't whimpering or even limping, but obviously in some pain. <laughs> Dog paws aren't as sensitive as our hands or feet, but they're not immune from feeling the heat of the sidewalk baking in the sun. There are some things you can do to help protect your dog's paws. First, check the surface. If you can't hold your hand or foot on the surface for 10 seconds, then it's too hot for your dog to walk on it. Two, walk your dog early in the morning or at night and head for the grass whenever possible. And three, doggy shoes are a good option. It takes some extra time to put all four of them on, but worth it if you must take them outside. A few other summer heat safety tips for your dogs? Limit their time outside and make sure they have plenty of shade and water. Consider adding ice on those really hot days. If your dog is outside too long, they may suffer from heat stroke. Look for signs like heavy panting, glazed eyes, difficulty breathing, lethargy, dizziness, vomiting, seizure, or unconsciousness. If they do show these signs, get them inside and gradually lower their body temperature by running them under cool water or placing cool wet towels over them and get them to the vet as quickly as possible. Jamie Cagle, 12 News.